All right, boys, a bunch of brand new information has dropped today, and I want to really go over them because I, I want to compete. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I want to compete. I'm really juiced up. I'm really motivated. And seeing all the new competitive stuff, I needed green check marks to see if I would compete. Is it toxic like Dynamax? I don't know, but I like it. And I like the new stuff shown today. We're going to go into it. Leave a like, guys. Subscribe if you're hyped. Uh, we're going to be covering Scarlet Valley like all year. And the next year, uh, if you guys want to buy the pre -order, my pre-order copies on Best Buy, the link is pinned in the comments, guys. Uh, use that to be able to pre-order Scarlet and Violet. Physical copies from Best Buy helps me out and it helps you out. Tap in, tap in. Let's get into it, though. Cyclives are, well, I think, the only new Mondo is shown today, but it, it says a lot. This Mondo is pretty nuts. So he's a dragon normal, uh, the first of his kind, because I'm pretty sure... Uh, Drampa is normal dragon. So this guy is the first dragon normal. But regardless, it's the exact same. Um, Drampa isn't the world's best mon, uh, but that just comes down to his own flaws with his speed stats. Comes to this mon, he looks really fast. I'm not gonna lie to you. You can look fast, and they can state that you're fast, but are you fast? Uh, I did see in the trailers also that he gets shift gear, so that buffs his speed and his attack, which is phenomenal. That's actually really good. So I hope it's not something like toxicity where, um, you know, the thing is kind of slow. Uh, I hope not. Uh, be uh, slowness is going to be the only thing that makes this mod bad. Like, if this mod is not base 115 base speed, it's cooked. It's cooked. Maybe 110, even 100. Not enough, man. We need fast, bro. We need fast. So this is a Pokemon that lives in humans. A Pokemon has lived in many households in the Paldea region since ancient times. It is a mild disposition. People riding Cla what Cyclies are, are very common sighted. It appears Cyclazar don't mind being ridden because the warmth of a rider helps state. Hey, yo, Game Freak? Nah, man, it's me. It's me. Is it me? Is, is it me? It might be me. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. These are... Look at these dudes. <laughs> these are grown-ass adults. Wait, wait. Wait. These are like the bullies, man. Like, what is this? A body optimized for running? Here we go. Optimized for running. Does this sound familiar? Because it sounds like Vicavolt. Cyclizer can sprint at over 70 miles per hour while carrying a human. It's extremely hard head and thick. Leaf tail are not only useful for maintaining balance and absorbing shocks while sprinting, they also provide effective ways to attack during battle. So he seems like a mon that would have, you know, he'd be like a physical Inteleon. 120 speed, 120 physical attack. I'm just saying, that might be a little too much, but he seems like a Sneasel, like a Weavile, like a, like a Sneasler. He seems fast and it's hard. That's what they're stating. Now, I can't see this guy having over 100 base attack. I can't. But the speed, the speed. I'm going to talk about the speed a lot because the speed is going to be the reason on why this model will be viable or not, regardless of its really cracked move shed tail. It needs to be fast in order to be able to use that shed tail to immediately bring it to somebody else. There are some, hopefully, I hope that there's bulky shed tail users, bulky slow shed tail users, we'll have to wait and see. For now though, uh, the biggest benefit of shed tail is gonna go over pretty soon. He needs to be fast, like a 115 base speed minimum. Maybe I'm, I just think that's what he needs to be, you know? The last time they actually debated us like this was uh, Vigavolt, saying the thing is like what, mock speed or whatever it is, or faster than a plane and it goes crazy fast. Yeah, it had base 40 speed. It had base 40 speed. Vigavolt doesn't even look slow. But he's base 40 speed. So please don't humble the bag. Uh, a new move shed tail. The user creates a substitute for itself using its own HP before switching places with a party. So part of Pokemon awaiting. So basically it's essentially substitute and baton pass at the exact same time. They fused substitute and baton pass. This move is ridiculous. Now we don't know if it's going to be able to transfer stats. All we know is that it subs up and then it switches. But I feel like it will be able to transfer stats because all you have to do is set up first and then shed tail. So you can run a focus sash build. Uh, well, you know what? Actually, no, you can because it uses its own HP. We don't know if it was half. I have to look back at the trailer. Was it half? I have to look back at that trailer, man. Um, but this, this move is really important. This move can quite literally shake up singles and VGC. This move is really big. It's essentially substituting Baton Pat's Fuse. Now, it doesn't look bulky, so I feel like you don't want to set up with this thing and then Shed Tail. It seems more viable to just immediate Shed Tail and then be set up behind a sub and maybe have sub on that mod. I don't know. Something maybe a little... I don't know if I want to be too extra about that, but... Um, I don't know. It doesn't seem the bulkiest mod to be able to, like, set up and then Shed Tail and then boom. Like, what if you... 
can't shed tail because it uses its own HP. So upon looking at it, guys, as you guys can see, it does actually take 50% of its own health. Going over the new items, though, these are going to be really important for the competitors as well, too, that are watching this video. Mirror Herb essentially allows the holder to mirror an opponent's stat increases and boosts its own stat, but only once. So it's one time use, it's a herb, so it's probably gonna be like white herb. Makes sense, right? Because white herb resets your stats. Mirror herb is going to copy the enemy stats. It actually makes a lot of sense. It, it actually does. So, uh, which we actually did see as a titan. Uh, a zoom roll, belly drum in front of it, and it's a titan literally is item. Immediately uh, uh, is able to pick up the belly drum plus six offensive stats right then and there. So that's gonna be absolutely insane. Uh, especially on fast mons. So it seems like those really speedy mons are not going to have some sort of viability. So if Inteleon is in this game, um, that could be it. But you also can't hold focus at the same time. So hashtag cooked. Maybe those uh, thin 30 mons. Sturdy mons. We'll have to see. Sorry about that. Covered cloak, which essentially works like shield dust. The hooded cloak conceals the holder, protecting it from additional effects of moods. So you can't get flinched on fake out. You can't get burned on scald uh, and so forth. You know what I mean? It's actually pretty nice. It's going to be really, really nice. Pretty sure you also can't get knocked off as well, too. So your item will stay on, and you can't knock this item off, which is phenomenal. So best moves in the game, like knock off and skull, you essentially just ignore, which is awesome. You ignore fake out, so this item is going to be really sick in BGC, because fake out really just deletes a mon for that turn, and that one turn could change the entire tide versus singles, where you just fake out once, and that mon is null and void for just that one turn, and you're fine. It's more like chip damage, if anything. You know what I mean? Um, or maybe deleting a mod at 1 HP is how we normally use it in singles. Did you see it's completely different? Um, there's a move called Loaded Dice, and this is the one I kind of wanted to go into a lot. It says a Pokemon holding this item uses a multi-strike move. That move will be more likely to hit more times. So I guess my confusion, even in my own initial reaction video, because we saw the Bullet Seed hit four times on the Blissey, but four is all that it needed in order to kill it. Is it like Skill Link, where it's going to be able to guaranteed, well, not guaranteed, sorry, have a more likely chance to hit five times in between a two to five window, or does it go beyond five, and now the chances are like maybe six or seven times you have chances in actually in order to hit. It's very vague. I feel like you can't write off one or the other. Uh, it says the movie more likely to hit more times, which is very confusing on how they state that. Um, I know there's gonna be people saying I'm overthinking it. There's gonna be people saying, oh, it doesn't work like that. You just have a likelier chance to get all five. Um, I feel like it's not crazy to be overthinking this. It's a little vague here because you actually don't know that, right? We saw it used four times and it killed this, so it didn't even hit five times, right? If we would have seen it hit six times, then obviously we would know, right? But um, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see, right? But I'm assuming, like I said, it's probably going to be like five times. It's probably going to be like a nerf, like a scuffed skill link, you know? Which is cracked because Breloom is easily going to be the best abuser of this move. 100%. I even saw some people saying, oh, what if you put it on a skill link mod like Cloyster? Does that mean Cloyster now hits like eight times? I, we, we don't, we, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I actually don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see, see how that goes. I think Mirror Herb is honestly going to be really, really cracked. Loaded Dice will be really cool as well, too. Maybe they give Breloom Arm Thrust, uh, which is also Stab and Technician boosted. So that'd be insane if they uh, move Tutor in Breloom to get Arm Thrust. It'd be absolutely ridiculous. Cover Cloak is going to be really good again for mods. Those really bulky mods that just don't want to get Scald Burn. Or the really uh, fast mo fast and frail mods that don't want to get uh, Fake Out, you know? So it's going to be really, really good. I mean, again, you can't get Scald. Uh, you can't get... Um, I don't know. You just basically cannot get additional moves. Effective moves happen to you. Fire Punch, no burn. Flamethrower, no burn. You know what I mean? It's just not going to happen. It's going to be fantastic. So that's going to be awesome. Terrasalize also got a major, major buff increase from what we've seen today. Uh, essentially, Tyranitar turned into a ghost type, which, by the way, was missing now. But Tyranitar turned into a ghost type here. Uh, was completely null and void against a Gallade who used close combat. So you actually get to see this Tyranitar, which is normally rock dark, became ghost type after Terrasalize. It's pure ghost type. So it was really insane there. And then you go for Terra Blast, which is the brand new move that shows power. Now, I didn't know if it was physical or special. It's basically hidden power, but better. Um, it states you that Terra Blast is a normal type move that can be learned with a TM. So it can be learned with a TM. Okay, sounds like hidden power. When used by a Terrastalized Pokemon, it becomes a move of that same type. Makes sense, hidden power, right? But you don't have to go on IVs now. Now it's based on a type, which is phenomenal. Um, and displays the immense might. Use it at the right moment to change the flow of the battle. And it says Terra Blast inflicts damage using the attack or special attack stat, whichever is higher for the user. So basically, Titar went for, we don't even know the base power. I'm assuming 80. I, I can't imagine it's above 80. If, if it's a base 100 move, Game Freak has lost their damn minds. 
if it's above base 100 or if it is base 100. I really feel like base 80 is that safe spot. Base 80 is that safe spot, for real, for real. So, um, yeah, I, I'm going to assume 80 because it's got it sounds stronger than hidden power. And they also removed hidden power for a gimmick. <laughs> so the fact that you could do this just on every mod ever, but you didn't have stab all the time. The benefit here is you have stab. Essentially, this Terminator can have another stab as well, too, based on the move that he picks. If he hits Crunch, he has uh, stab Dark. If he hits Stone Edge, he has stab Rock. I'm assuming that's how it works. I'm assuming that's how it works, right? It just makes the most sense. Um, but he does not have the negative effects of being weak to whatever those typings are. So if he were to hit his Dark type move, he would have stab on Crunch still, but he would not have the weaknesses that Dark types would. He would not suddenly be weak to uh, Fairy moves because he hit Crunch, which is phenomenal. So, I don't know, man. Ter Terastalize looks very powerful. He even had a Rotom Watch as well, too, which actually used it on Colossal, who is dual typing. And then he became pure water typing, resisted the Hydro Pump, which is phenomenal because Amanas already has really bulky stats. He, he just sucks because both of his typings are quad beat to water and ground. Um, he, is, he completely resists it, and then he gets a Steam Engine buff. So this mod, people are like, oh my god, finally... Like, I started Twitch that saying, oh my god, finally cool also. Guys, this mod is cracked in VGC. Like, people are running Surf Weavile to buff this mod. Like, this is a major buff to Colossal teams and doubles. It's a major buff. It is a major buff. Um, I could see it being a big buff as well, too, for obviously singles, but more, more for doubles. Colossal doesn't really seem like he's the best in singles. More for doubles, for sure. Uh, also, I hope that this isn't the ba only battle stadium we have. If so, it's kind of a downgrade. Like, regardless of how people felt about Sword and Shield, easily the best battle stadium we've ever gotten known to man. Um, so if this is the battle stadium we get, it's going to be extremely simplified. Uh, me, personally, I don't care as long as the timer is good, and we didn't see anything from the timer today, which is extremely unfortunate. So you can clearly see here that this Flareon goes for Terra Blast, uh, which is Fire Terra Blast. So it's confusing because it's already a fire type. So it has a, a fire terror type as well, too. I would assume it's double to stab. Ridiculous, by the way. How do, oh, it, they said it only works that way, though, if you have two typings. So you have the terror stab and then another tab of your original typing. So um, a lot of questions. Still a lot of stuff to be discovered over Terrastalize. I would love to make a full discussion video of Terrastalize because Terrastalize looks really, really, really good, man. Really good. And obviously, it's going to be accessible to every single mod that exists. So I um, kind of hope that Game Freak stems away from that. I'm kind of tired of accessibility to every single mod that exists ever. Um, so we'll see. Uh, this is the trailer here for Terrastalize. It's a Pokemon video game players. This one's for you. So it's basically a major competitive buff to patch that they showed today. I'm really looking forward to it. The Pokemon, the features, everything looks phenomenal. Um, who knows? Maybe they finally make the Pokemon uh, uh, stronger. Who knows? Based on the Terra types. So maybe if Saitatan has a Terra type fairy, that'd be ridiculous. Holding a mirror herb. That'd be ridiculous. But guys, let me know what you think. Leave a like down below again. Use that pre-order code. The link is pinned in the comments in the description, guys. You literally help me. And also, I help you by getting the game. And you help me with the clicking the link as well, too. And buying the game. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you for watching. 